What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we have an amazing 1-4 scale statue by Prime 1. We have the Ghost of Tashima Sakai Clan armor. Very excited to get this statue, man. Uh, been waiting over a year or so now uh, since I pre-ordered this. Uh, so it finally has arrived. And we cannot wait to open this one up, man. I also have the original uh, Ghost of Tashima statue as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video. And I'll show you what the both of those look like together. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so in typical Prime 1 fashion, we have a lot of pieces, a lot of switch outs. And not only that, man, just beautiful pieces, man. Look at uh, the structure here of the base and just the armor. Uh, everything looks so amazing and I cannot wait to put this together. Uh, the beautiful leaves here look amazing. Uh, yes, man, this is gonna be an amazing statue once we get it together. All right, so first, before we do the assembly, we have our instruction booklet. And as you can see here, we have a lot of steps. Uh, now this is the deluxe bonus version. Uh, and the bonus just means that we get the uh, Sakai emblem, uh, the Ghost of Tsushima emblem. So we have that, but uh, as you can see, we have a lot of steps here, uh, over 40, uh, 40 some steps. So uh, very excited, man. And then right here, here's that emblem I was just telling you about. So yeah, man, I'm excited. Um, this statue here is definitely going to be amazing. Uh, and then on the back here, we just have more of the complete assembly. Just kind of show you as well as the parts list. Uh, because sometimes uh, Prime 1 does uh, put stuff in the wrong spot. So you will need this booklet to make sure that you're just putting everything in the correct spot. All right, so first let's go ahead and peg his foot in. All right, and then next we'll peg in a piece of the armor. All right, and then next we'll peg in one of our columns. And then here is the other one. And then we have a bigger one. And now we'll peg in our last column. Now let's get into the leaves. So we have a bunch of leaf assemblies. Uh, that we'll do here uh, now I will say um, uh, one thing with um, prime one they try to uh, color coordinate the um, the leaves and stuff when they do something that can be easily mistaken uh, and it really does help uh, with something like this just doing so many assemblies of these leaves uh, it really does help having that type of um, instruction uh, now, sometimes they do get it wrong, so you have to pay close attention to your leaves, like because sometimes the picture will be right, but the color will be wrong, uh, just different stuff like that, man. So that's just uh, some quality control issues sometimes. Not a big deal, but uh, I mean, it's important that you just kind of pay attention so you can make sure that you're assembling your statue correctly. Uh, so just more of these leaves here. More leaves uh, and I really love the colors on these leaves as well man they they did a, a great job with these colors here all right and then more leaves and more leaves And more leaves <laughs> so yeah man it, it really does take a time uh, take your time pegging in all these leaves man but uh, it really does bring the statue to life uh, just having the different leaves all over the place 
All right, now we'll get into the laces here on his boots. So they have some on the um, on the bottom of where the ankle is, and we also have uh, one for the shin as well. All right, now we'll add the rest of our rope here in the front of our statue. And then we also have rope here on the side. All right, so now we'll peg in our sheath. And then we have the handle as well. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different switch out options. Uh, we'll go through a bunch of different switch out options as we assembly the, assemble the statue. So um, I really love the uh, creativity behind it. Now one thing, when you're pegging in the uh, arms here, uh, it does have a rope uh, piece that you have to peg into uh, the top of the shoulder. All right, and then this is our first head scope. And man, does he look amazing. I really love the hair strands as well. Uh, look real good. Very detailed. All right, and then like I said before, uh, those ropes, uh, you wanna make sure that you don't get those caught in between the magnets. So you wanna lift those up. right and then we have the sword here all right and then next we'll peg in our bird it's a beautiful bird too and then we have more leaves and then we'll put some leaves here on his back All right, so this is one of the looks uh, completely assembled and uh, and it looks amazing. Now this statue is quite heavy, man. Uh, so to the point that my turntable was having trouble trying to turn him. And, uh, and that's crazy because I've had one third scale statues on here as well that didn't have issues, but um, it, it was struggling to, to turn this one. So I don't know if the motor on my um, turntable is getting weak or it's just that this statue is dead heavy so uh, but definitely looks amazing uh, you can see uh, a full 360 view all the way around the statue and uh, just the different colors man from the bird to the leaves uh, to the uh, Sakai armor everything just looks so amazing man really looks good uh, the details on this statue is just amazing. Uh, that's one thing about Prime One. Uh, they definitely go all out when it comes to the uh, colors and just the realism of their statues. All right, now let's get into some switch outs. So we will uh, replace the sword with just a balled up fist. And then when doing so, you wanna host the sword. So we'll put it in the sheath. All right, and now let's get into the alternate head scope uh, with the, the mask and everything. Looks very dope. Uh, so right here, we'll have the uh, antlers. We'll peg those in. And wow, man, that looks amazing. So I'm really digging this. Uh, this is the reason that I decided to get this statue. Uh, it looks very dope, uh, but the original looks good as well. All right, now let's get into the switch out uh, arms and everything. So uh, we'll peg this one in here. Right, and then we'll add the leaf effect back. 
All right, now we'll peg in the other arm. And then you have to add the armor on the side here. Now we'll put that portrait back on. All right, now uh, we'll add on the right hand holding the sword. And then we will attach his left hand onto the sword as well. So this is very impressive, man. This is the uh, the switch out that I like. Uh, I like both of them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this is just an amazing statue. Uh, but I like this uh, pose in particular uh, with him actually having the sword in the sheath. And, uh, and it looks amazing, man. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, my turntable was having issues uh trying to turn this statue man it was so heavy um but uh this statue is amazing um if you were on the fence about getting this one i'm telling you right now man definitely add this one to your collection all right so here it is man in the uh display along with the uh first statue from the uh ghost of Tashima and wow man they really do look good together uh i love the colors uh, right here we have the red leaves and then on the uh og we have the yellow so just taking a look around the statue man uh it looks amazing uh the details uh as i mentioned earlier are just fantastic uh, they did an amazing job uh, now, before I bought this statue, I had no idea that it was fully sculpted. Uh, I wanted it to be fully sculpted, but I thought that they would have at least some uh, some form of mixed media uh, in the rope areas. But the entire thing is fully sculpted, and I love it. Uh, now, on the original statue, on the first one, they didn't do that. Uh, they added a couple uh, mixed media elements which is cool, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing uh, too crazy, but they did add some mixed media elements to it. Uh, and I wish they would have been fully sculpted, but it's fine, it still looks good. Uh, so just taking a look at it, uh, it looks amazing. Uh, just like uh, the statue we just received, uh, that leave effect, man, is what really just makes this statue uh, amazing. Uh, it just takes it to a whole nother level. Um, and as you can see, I got the posters in the background. Uh, these are some posters that I had made uh, for these two statues. And uh, wow, man, just taking a look at this, man. Really looks, really looks good. Uh, also, I do have the uh, emblem. I will display the emblem with it. Uh, I didn't put it here right now. Uh, but I think that's something that I'm going to do across all of my uh, one-fourths uh do like an emblem to kind of go along with the statues because i really do like that take uh prime one uh usually does that with their deluxe bonuses they'll give you like their uh emblem to go along with the statues and uh i have it for this one and i also have it for my god of war so i think i'm gonna do some research man and see if i can find some more emblems to go with my other one fourths uh, I think that will be a dope addition to add to the statues. So I'm going to see if I can find them. But uh, yes, man, just let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this statue. Uh, make sure that y'all hit that like button if you haven't already. Uh, and if you're new to the channel or you just haven't subscribed, uh, do consider subscribing. Uh, and make sure that y'all hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos. Uh, I do appreciate the support. Uh, remember, we on our way to 2,000 subs. Uh, hopefully, we get there within the next, well, hopefully within this month. Uh, but within next month, uh, that'll be dope if we can get there in the month of March. 
Uh, so, yes, man, just continue to support the channel. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And until the next time, peace.